This is Jedge Edwards with Wofford College and here with Figure It Out Baseball. And we're gonna walk you through our second two cone drill. So if you haven't seen the first two cone drill, this is the second part of it. So make sure you watch that video before or after this one. So the second part of the two cone drill is a similar concept. You have your two cones set up. We are working on a sharp angle at the first cone going towards the second cone. And then we will have a version, we will have two tennis, two balls, sorry, two balls that we will use at this point. You'll have a baseball and a tennis ball, a racquetball works as well. You just want something that we can, we can notice the difference between. And then off of the balls, we will have a little change of what we are doing, which we will explain. For the second part of the two cone drill, it is a very similar setup. You will start in an athletic position at the first cone, working your way to the front cone. Your partner or a coach will roll you a ball. So you still want to be aggressive. Your first step is going around this cone in as direct line as possible, almost like you're a slalom skier. And then when the balls come, it will dictate what you are doing. If it is a real baseball, if it is a baseball, you will continue to run through with one hand, run through and make a throw on the run. If it is the tennis ball or any other ball that you, de you deem, we want to split our feet be in an athletic position, working still one-handed, still one-handed as possible, and we will catch this ball and you will stay for one second. We call it a one second pause, that you catch this ball, one 1,001, hold it in your glove in this position, and then pop up and make a good throw. The reason we use the one second pause is it, it differentiates that we want to catch the ball first before anything else. So this is the one that you are a hard ground balls at you, you split your feet and then have to regather your momentum going to first base. To break down this drill even more, when I say the term split your feet, that is a simple concept but needs explaining. When we are doing that and we will use the, the tennis ball for a demo, we want to be feet shoulder width apart. We want your glove out in front at this point so the side profile will look like this out in front. Your left foot should just be slightly in front of your right. So if you look at this angle right down the barrel, this is what it will look like. A flatter back, you don't want to be upright. You want to be flat in that position. And we just want to make sure that we are catching the ball out in front of our body. A lot of people get caught up catching the ball underneath. We don't want that. We want to make sure we are working out in front. And when contact is made, so with this tennis ball, we will pause for one second and then stay low in our hips and work through the baseball to first base. When attacking the baseball and splitting your feet, we want our glove, we'll just talk about the glove here, is we want the glove opened up as much as possible. And if I was, the camera is perfect because you wanna see as much glove as possible in this view right here. So if you are in this spot, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the spot you wanna be. You wanna be opened up and as much pocket and glove as possible. A sign of a good infielder is when you are hitting them ground balls or rolling them ground balls, you see this right here in this symbol as much as possible. The people who struggle cover it up and at the last minute roll it down. So a coaching term that we always use is show us the inside of your glove as much as possible and that will show you are in a good spot to field the baseball. Coaches, as we go through this demo here, I will show you one with the baseball that you need to run through and work to first, and one with a tennis ball that you will need to split your feet and pause for one second. But when you do this drill on your own, make sure you randomize back and forth tennis balls and baseballs in, in no particular order so it keeps your players off guard. Again, when we're going through that demo right there, when you see the tennis ball and you need to split your feet, I would recommend starting off catching it with two hands just to make sure we secure the baseball and pausing for a second. And then when you get a lot better when you are splitting your feet, use one. Again, this is JJ Edwards with Wofford College Baseball. Make sure you click to my next video, which is the three bounce drill.